that the pen has been lifted and thalath, yani from three, the uh, naim hatta yastayqid, the one who is asleep up until he wakes up, wal majnoon hatta yufiq, and the one who is insane up until he yani, regains his sense, senses, naam, and the sabi, hatta yahtalim, or hatta yakbar, then the child up until he yani, reaches that age of maturity and yani, uh, when he becomes an adult. So the pen is lifted. However, yani, does that mean that the actions that they perform, those good actions that, are, that they perform, that they are not recorded? And that's the question because if we're saying the pen's lifted, that they, they aren't held responsible, they don't have to carry out the obligations, the wajibat. Mm -hmm. yani, what, if they fall into sin and so on, it's not written against them. No doubt we encourage them to stay away from the evil actions, but the wajibat, we know they're not obligatory upon them. But if they were to do them, salawat, qira'at of the Qur'an and so on, and the various other good deeds, is that recorded for them? Hmm? Although the pen is lifted. The answer to that is, na'am. It is recorded for them. The good deeds that they perform is recorded for them. But the sayyat, they aren't recorded against them. So, tuktab, tuktab al-hasanat, wala tuktab al-sayyat. For the children. The proof for that is that a hadith uh, of Abdullah ibn Abbas, where he mentioned in Sahih Muslim, Rafa'at um, imra'a sabiyan laha. That a woman she raised, uh, that was during the Hajjat al Wida, the farewell Hajj, she raised uh, her child. The child that she had, she raised the child and said to the Messenger of Allah, وسلم, uh, Ali hadha. Hajj is the Hajj upon this child. And the Prophet, what did he say? He said, Naam, Walaki, Ajar. Yes, and for you is reward. Is a reward of that. The scholars, they say, Yani Naam. Then that Naam goes back to, Yani, this go back to, yes, there is Hajj upon that child. Hmm? That na'am there, what does it go back to? Because she's asking, Ali hadha hajj, is there hajj for this child? So when the Prophet ﷺ, he said, na'am, yes, wa laki ajr, and for you, you have reward. So her having reward, that's clear. But the na'am, what does that go back to? Is it, is it that na'am upon the child is hajj? As an obligation? No, because rufa al qalam, the pen has been lifted, the meaning of it is. Naam, the child will also be rewarded. Naam, yani, lihada sabi, ajr al hajj. Walaki hajj kathalik. Walaki al ajr kathalik, yani. And for you also is, is uh, the reward. So, yani, the scholars they mentioned that the hasanat, although the pen is lifted and it doesn't write hmm, with regards to the, ch the child, the hasanat are recorded for them. The good deeds are recorded for them. So we should encourage our children, as the Shaykh mentioned, the tashji, we should encourage them to perform the good deeds. Even though they haven't reached that, that age of taklif and obligation, we should encourage them, teach them the, how the deeds are multiplied, the good deeds are multiplied. And you say to your child that for every good deed you do, you get 10 rewards. And the children, being how, that they are children, they get yani, motivated by these matters. You do this one good deed, you get, you get ten. And if you have multiple children, Allah has blessed you, yani, get them to compete. Who's going to do this good deed? Who's going to get the ten deeds? And so on. Now.